Good morning, colonists. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, students. This is Mr. Saldivar here, your school principal, with your morning announcements. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, October the 12th, the first day of the second quarter. We are excited to be halfway through the semester. Students, it's going by pretty fast, so we want to encourage you to keep working hard. If you are not doing well, getting D's and or F's in any of your classes, please reach out for support. If there is something going on outside of school that is keeping you from being successful or, or at school, please reach out and let us know what's going on. We cannot help unless we know what's going on or understand what's going on. We want every one of our students to be successful, but we need you to, to let us know. We need you to communicate what's going on. For those of you that are doing well, we are very proud of you. Continue the good work and continue to be consistent with making those good choices and, and working hard in school. Again, halfway through the semester, it's gonna fly by students. We have, for the next few days, including today, we have our APs, um, our assistant principals, introducing themselves, so we want you to enjoy um, those introductions, starting today with our ninth grade assistant principal, Mr. Calleros. Also, as always, Mrs. Cuellar is always providing some important updates for our students, all of our grade levels, and especially our juniors and seniors. And we also have our COVID-19 weekly update this week. And this week, it's the Anaheim Sycamore video. So kudos to Dulce Martinez, uh, our RSVP student here at Anaheim High School, represents Anaheim High School and uh, has worked hard to get this video together with the help of uh, some of our, our other students from other programs. Uh, dance is involved, Sycamore is involved. So kudos to everyone that was involved. Ms. Bandico's class has some projects uh, submitted on that. Um, so again, great job to everyone. Um, staff and teachers, enjoy that video. And if you have any of those students in any of your classes, make sure that you congratulate them and give them some kudos for the work that they did. With that said, enjoy your Monday. Have a great week, everyone. And let's finish strong with the second half of the first semester. Thank you and goodbye. Good morning, colonists. Happy Monday, everyone. Um, with the start of a new quarter, I wanted to take the time to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Calleros. I'm one of the assistant uh, principals here at Anaheim High School. I work with the ninth grade class. Uh, I wanted to just remind you guys to finish the semester strong. I know uh, distance learning has been hard on all of us, um, but I have no doubt that you guys will continue to work hard. You will continue to do good things. And um, I look forward to seeing all of you guys hopefully soon. Uh, when we return, okay? Take care and happy Monday. Hello students, my name is Mrs. Cuellar and it is Monday, October 12th. Happy start of the second quarter. I just wanted to hop on real quick and remind you of a couple of events coming up today and tomorrow. Uh, don't forget today is our UC Santa Barbara um, STEM overview uh, for students interested in um, a major in the STEM field, which would be science, technology, engineering, or math. Um, so check that out today, 3 p.m. Tomorrow we have UC Merced um, coming to visit us virtually at 11 a.m. So if you're interested in learning more about UC Merced and all the programs that they have to offer, that is tomorrow. And then at 1 p.m., uh, a reminder for uh, Grand Canyon University, uh, which is a private school in Arizona, is actually doing a presentation about their campus and all the programs they have to offer. And then we're rounding out the day tomorrow at 4.30 with a UC application workshop. And again, you wanna always register with your personal email so that you can receive the Zoom link. Uh, so that's it for the for, for the calendar. And again, broken record, Mrs. Cuellar, go to Counselor's Corner uh, on our website, and then you'll click on the College and Career Event Calendar link. I also wanted to alert seniors to an email that Ms. Camacho sent out on Friday regarding name changes. We basically just want to make sure that Whatever name you have on your um, legal documentation, such as your birth certificate or social security card, matches the name in Aries. Um, those names have to be exact. And then also when you're completing your financial aid application, whether it's the FAFSA or the DREAM Act, 
whatever name is your official name on your birth certificate or social security number needs to be um, you know, directly taken from that legal document onto your FAFSA and DREAM Act. If their names are different, you're gonna have a lot of issues like trying to get your financial aid or your Cal grant. Uh, so please make sure that you get that fixed. You're just going to take a screenshot, make a copy, scan it over to Ms. Camacho. Um, and again, she sent an email on Friday, okay? And then last but not least, seniors. I'm hearing a lot of issues with SAT and ACT. I just wanna reiterate that SAT is not required for admission for the fall, okay? So if you are planning on going to a Cal State or UC um, this coming fall, uh, fall of 2021, um, you do not need to take the SAT, okay? If you take it now and you submit it, your scores, the colleges aren't even going to look at it, okay? So I don't want you to stress about signing up for the SAT, um, driving two to three hours away to take the test. Not necessary, okay? So I just wanna make that clear. If you have any questions, again, you want to complete the request to see counselor, either to your grade level counselor or to myself, Mrs. Cuellar. And again, you can find the links under Counselor's Corner. All right, that's it for me today. Uh, start the second quarter strong, students. I believe in you. You can do it. Uh, you are resilient. You are tough. You are amazing. You can do it. All right, I will see you on Wednesday. Goodbye. Hello, HUHC students. My name is Dulce Martinez, and I'm from Anaheim High School. I'm the student ambassador. And this week's COVID-19 projects come from Sycamore Virginia High School and Anaheim High School. Some of those projects have been such as poetry, sketches, drawing, slash painting, and also some choreographed dances from our dance program at Anaheim. Have a great week, HUHC students, and stay safe. Listless. Do you poop out at parties? Introducing the book because you'll need to read it every once in a while. Now bear with me here. Reading a book is great for quarantine as you can learn. No more tryharding in video games. No more procrastinating while you're listening to Weezer.
That's right, folks. It's the book, and it's here for a limited time only. First come, first serve. Every purchase. more than ever we must have hope for the future and faith in others thank you and emotions whether it's the fright of the virus sadness from being unable to see friends or anger at the people who aren't following the rules of self-isolation it is art that keeps my heart beating especially during these difficult times we must have hope for more than ever. It is art. It is art that keeps my heart 